Let's be honest, most keyword research tools are too expensive for the average blogger. 99 to $199 per month and a bunch of features you don't even know how to use. When you're a blogger new to SEO, these tools are a big investment. Luckily, there's another option. Free keyword research tools that do just enough to get you started on the right path. So you can still find good keywords to target with your blog and keep coming back to these tools when you need new keyword ideas. And the best part, of course, they're free. In this video, I'm showing you my five favorite free keyword research tools and how you can use them to come up with new ideas for your next blog post. And throughout this video, we're gonna be using the example of, say we have a blog in the gardening niche and we're looking to write a post around tomatoes or how to grow tomatoes. So the first tool we're talking about is called Keyword Chef, and let's hop into the tool and show you how to use it. So here we are inside of Keyword Chef, and this works on a credit-based system. I believe, don't quote me on this, that you get 1,000 free credits, which is a great way to get started for free using this tool. And so what I'm gonna do is, again, we're in the gardening niche, and we're gonna do something about, and we're not sure, growing tomatoes, okay? And what I like to do with Keyword Chef is during this dropdown, I like to write informational style content, how to type content. And so we have different choices over here on the left. So for the purposes of an informational type of post, I'm gonna select questions and see what kind of questions Keyword Chef can spit back at me around the broad topic of growing tomatoes. So I'm gonna hit on search topic. And what it's gonna do is you know, just confirm that, you know, this search is gonna cost you 184 credits. Again, you get a thousand credits for free. If you wanna remove credits, you can kind of select this filter here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna select get keywords, okay? And this is what I love about this tool. We're getting keywords with actual search intent. These are not useless, meaningless keywords that all of these other keyword tools spit out at you, Keyword Chef is giving you actual questions that people are asking, right? So just by scanning this list, how to, how to grow tomatoes in pots, how long does it take to grow tomatoes? How to grow tomatoes from seed? Can you grow tomatoes indoors? Here's another one about indoors. How long does it take to grow tomatoes from seeds? Can you grow tomatoes in a five gallon Bucket. So you get the idea here. All of those keywords that I just um, read out loud are possible blog post ideas that potentially deserve their own article on your site. And Keyword Chef is also giving us some metrics here about the average search volume, the high and the low. Um, you can preview the search results for the keyword. I'm not going to get into that right now. You can also export your list to CSV, you can run some filters and some other stuff here that again, I'm not, it's not a deep dive into Keyword Chef, but I just wanna show you how quickly and kind of accurately the tool gives us all of these questions that we could, again, potentially write articles about. Can you grow tomatoes from cuttings, okay? And if you click on that link within there, it will take you to the Google search results so you can get a look at what Google is ranking, you know, who else is ranking, what type of content are they writing, and so on and so forth. So I really do like Keyword Chef because they focus on the quality of the keywords, not necessarily the quantity of the keywords, right? Their main thing is all of our keywords have actual search intent. And this tool was designed pretty much specifically for niche site owners and bloggers. So if you haven't checked out Keyword Chef yet, I definitely recommend giving it a try. All right. The next keyword research tool that I like for free, I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but it still is really a great tool. Answer the public. You know, this talk about trying to get questions um, for blog posts. This is, if not the original tool, it's definitely one of the most popular original tools. So what you do here is you enter a seed keyword like I've done right here, grow tomatoes, and you hit search. And what this tool is going to do is spit back a bunch, hopefully, of questions that, again, we can potentially target with a blog post. So you can see quickly here, it's come up with 80 questions. And there's two ways of looking at this data. One is in this kind of visualization, which looks cool, but I kind of find it hard to read. So if we click over onto data, 
we're gonna get all of these questions. And what I love about it is answer the public will kind of bucket them by, I don't know, preposition. So we have are, can, how, where, when, right? Can tomatoes grow indoors? How to grow tomatoes in pots? How to grow tomatoes in a greenhouse? Where should I grow tomatoes outside? Okay, a bunch of whens, when to grow tomatoes from seeds, what tomatoes grow best in hot, water. And again, these are all potential blog post ideas that I could write about, you know, depending on who else is ranking, depending on the search intent, which are topics for another video. But again, this is going to give us a bunch of results and it's really great for brainstorming. Can tomatoes grow in winter? Another great keyword right there. So answer the public, you know, they probably have a limit on their free searches. I'm not sure. But just from that one search with that one phrase, we got 80 questions. Not all of these are gonna be worthy of their own standalone blog post, but we can get you know potentially a dozen new blog post ideas just from this one search using Answer the Public. So if you're not using it in your kind of keyword research arsenal, definitely check out Answer the Public as well. Okay, the third tool on my list is called Also Asked. Dot com. And what this tool does is it basically scrapes the Google results for people also asked. You've definitely seen those results come in whenever you kind of type a question or a keyword into Google. You get that people also asked section. What this tool does is it scrapes it and puts it into a visual format. So if I type grow tomatoes and hit search, and here's what also asked comes back with. So you can say it, this is a, a kind of a visual representation as well. And it's got this little, I don't know what you even call here, but we start with grow tomatoes. And then it's got these kind of little tentacles here that say, what is the best way to grow tomatoes? And from that, I can drag, can tomato plants get too much sun? I don't think we've seen that question yet. And again, you will have to do the research into whether that question is worthy of its own blog post. You know, my hunch is probably not, but that's definitely a great question you could put into an existing article, maybe as an H2, maybe as an H3, maybe as an FAQ, right? How do I grow tomatoes in my backyard? How often should I water tomatoes? Are eggshells good for tomato plants? Another question I don't think we've seen yet. And then again, we can come back to this little diagram here. What is the best month to plant tomatoes. We've seen that come up a bunch as well. So that's definitely a topic that people are interested in. Is June too late to plant tomatoes? So again, the calendar, time of year, definitely worthy of multiple blog posts potentially. And then as we go down, what is the secret to growing tomatoes? What's the easiest vegetable to grow? Do you plant tomatoes in mounds, right? So I love how we're getting all of these questions straight from Google all in this one screenshot from alsoasked.com. How to grow tomatoes for beginners. Do tomatoes grow better in pots or in the ground, right? These are all actual questions that people are typing into Google. And with this one free tool, you know, we've got a list of, I'm not sure how many are here, but dozens and dozens of questions that again, maybe they don't all deserve their own standalone article on your site, but most of them deserve at least a place in an article as a question, as an H2 or as an H3. So also asked, again, has free searches up to a certain amount of searches per month. I'm sure if you went incognito and cleared your cache, you could probably get more searches because I didn't have to sign in or anything to run this. So that's something to look into as well, but I do love also asked. Dot com. All right, the next tool on our list is actually from Ahrefs. So most of us know Ahrefs is a very expensive tool. You know, I pay something like $200 a month to use the free, excuse me, to use the paid version. But did you know that Ahrefs also has a free, they call it keyword generator. And it basically gives you a certain amount of free keywords with free data. So again, it's called free keyword generator from Ahrefs if you want to Google that. And so what we do here is again, type in kind of our broad keyword and then hit find keywords. And then 
after running our search. So Ahrefs is gonna give us some keyword ideas here. So they actually will give you 100 keywords, which is pretty good. They'll give you the volume on all 100, which is also pretty generous. And they will give you their keyword difficulty, I think only for the top 10. So it's actually pretty good data here. And again, we can go into phrase match or we can go specifically into questions. So when we get into questions, right, this is kind of the keywords that we were looking at earlier, how to grow cherry tomatoes, how long does it take for tomatoes to grow, how to grow bigger tomatoes, right? And Ahrefs, again, is gonna give us the volume for a hundred of these keywords, how to grow tomatoes in pots from seeds, how long did cherry tomatoes take to grow? So a hundred free keyword ideas, we get the volume for all 100. We get the difficulty for 10 of them. So, you know, again, Ahrefs is known for their paid tool, obviously, but they're giving us some free data here. I'm honestly not sure if there's a limit to how many searches you can run. I don't see it represented here. So you could throw at it a bunch of different key phrases and see what kind of questions you get back as well. And then the fifth free tool on our list is called Keyword Surfer. It's from the people behind Surfer SEO. It's a Chrome extension. So I'll show you how it works in a second. So I'm just in Google. I have my Grow Tomatoes search here. I'm just gonna hit enter. And then what Surfer is gonna do, and typically it appears on the top right, I think because I also have Ahrefs here, it's going to the bottom. So on my page, it's at the bottom. So I'm just gonna scroll down, but I think generally it's at the top. But anyway, down here, here we go. So keyword surfer, keyword ideas. So it's gonna give you a bunch of, as you would guess, keyword ideas based off of the seed keyword that we gave it. And it's also gonna give you search volume. I think this is their own metric here. And then similarity, right? How similar is this keyword to your seed keyword? So we have grow tomatoes vertically grow tomatoes on a balcony, grow tomatoes in a winter greenhouse. Now these are kind of too broad, which I don't love. I kind of like the other tools a little bit better because we're getting specific questions. This is what I was talking about earlier with Keyword Chef. Keyword Chef is giving us almost every keyword they give us is an actual article idea. These keywords right here are kind of all the same and they're very, they're much too broad, but you know, this tool can give you some decent ideas. Um, tomato plant supports. That's probably someone looking to buy some kind of stake in the ground to um, prop up the tomato. So Keyword Surfer's pretty decent. It's free. Again, it's a Chrome extension. It's definitely worth having installed in Google because anytime you type something into Google, it's gonna give you all of these ideas for free. Um, so there's kind of no downside to having it installed. So those are my five favorite free keyword research tools. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below what is your favorite free keyword research tool. Thanks, guys.